Hello and welcome! Here I have an old laptop, it's more than 20 years old, but it has a great option which most modern ones do not have. Let me show you. One great thing about the laptops from the 90s is when you connect them to external screen, often via Vega cable, you will view everything on that screen, not just Windows, but you also can see the BIOS settings and recovery screen. Most modern laptops don't have such an option. And that's bad news when your main screen is broken. The machine will still allow you to work in Windows, but if you want to get into BIOS, and sometimes you really need to, there is no way to do it. Although, there is a way. Let me show you. We will need a screwdriver for this. Yeah, you guessed it right. We need to open the laptop. It's getting the BIOS settings on your external screen the hard way. On how to open the back cover of the laptop, I have a made separate video about it. So I will put the link down below in the comments of this video. After opening the back cover, which is probably the hardest thing uh, of it all, we need to locate the LCD connection. In my case, it's here a little bit on the left completely on the back left of the laptop. And all we need to do is disconnect this connector. As you can see, it's kind of locked with this plastic uh, part. You need to lift it up with your finger, for example, and this plastic part will just pop open. This is quite a delicate thing to do. If your fingers are a little bit too big for this, Use some kind of tool, like this guitar pick I'm using here, and use it to just wiggle it a little bit open. It should pop up like that. Once it's unlocked, we can remove the connector. We can use here some tools to help us with that, or just do it with your fingers. Just be careful not to break it. To locate such connector on your laptop, it probably will be on the back side of the laptop, left, right, maybe center, and just look for the signs on the main board itself. Usually it says, LCD, just like in my case. All right, I will put some tape over it. This way I'll make sure that those connectors will not touch anything from metal on the main board once I close the laptop again. This is a tape that doesn't leave any glue on those connectors. So once I want it connected again with the main board, it's nice and clean. All right, let's put the laptop up. Let's see if we can see the BIOS on the external screen. On this laptop, I press escape a few times during the startup to get startup menu. And we have it already. Now for BIOS, we press F10. All right, it looks to be working. We can see BIOS on external screen now. Looking good. Now let's go back to the menu. Let's start recovery screen on external screen now. That looks fine too, but it's no surprise if the menu was working, everything will be working as well. And the Windows screen is also loading without any problems as well. If we need to connect this connector back with the motherboard, just make sure it fits nicely and lock it down with this plastic moving part. And that's it. All right, I hope this tip will help you. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and see you next time. Bye.